Greetings and salutations. Back with another episode of Dragon Warrior 6. I almost forgot my line there. It's been a very, very long day for me. It's alright, we're going to get through this. Home now, and it's great to be able to sit down and play this game for a bit. Did he say anything now? Prince Howard is my favorite prince in the world. No one can beat him when it comes to hide and seek. Can you believe he managed to squeeze in a lot of them? Okay, we read that before. It just takes on a new dimension after chasing him all over the place. Father, I have returned. And how did you fare, my boy? It'll take more than a dank cave and a few monsters to rattle the Prince of Hal Castle, so now he's all bluster and bravado. Um, but, you know, I do think he might have changed a little bit. He did kind of uh, chin up and get through it. I enjoy it so much, I brought back a little souvenir. Behold, the proof of passage. I say you've made your old father a very happy man. I'm proud of you, son. You're more than fit to follow my footsteps. You're a worthy heir to the throne of Hal Castle. In fact, I see no sense in waiting around. If you feel up for it, you can secede me right away. Or succeed, excuse me, secede. Completely different kind of thing. Please, Father, let us not be hasty. I still have much to learn. There are a lot of weapon training sessions that I need to catch up on for a start. My dear little Howie is quite, quite right, of course. The time is not yet right for my little buttercup to ascend to the throne. I suppose you're right. I'm getting ahead of myself. I still got a fair bit of ruling to do before I hand over the reins to young Howie. There's only one thing to do at times like these, and that's hold a rip-roaring banquet with a side order and rollicking and moisture. <laughs> this is, uh, I like this king. Jimbobo, I trust you and your companions will sup with us. Chancellor, guards, I want a banquet, and I want it now. <laughs> Just do a banquet <laughs> out of nowhere. Right away, your highness. This is an interesting reoccurring theme in RPGs of this time, is that they would have, like, banquets and parties. There was one in Final Fantasy VI. There was one in Chrono Trigger. Just to name a few. So they said there was a sumptuous feast for the prince. Fireworks, even. Then morning came. That was a little awkward. Good morning, folks. Time to rise and shine. King Hal has prepared a small token of his gratitude. He requests that you join him right away. Well, I like tokens of grat gratitude, I really do. <laughs> Please forgive me, I'm a bit congested. Hal Castle's breathed a collective sigh of relief, and we owe it all to you. You know, that is something tr very true. Um, in the days of mon monarchy, it is very important to have a, a viable heir. Preferably male. Sometimes, you know, female rulers, or queens, essentially, female monarchs, did ascend to the throne. Some of them were very, very competent, famous. Queen Elizabeth. Uh, both of them, really. Um, uh, what's another? Catherine the Great. Um, other times, um, not so much, but that was any monarch. <laughs> 
you know, you never could be sure what you're going to get. But it was very important for a king or queen to have a viable heir. And in a country like this where they had to undergo a test, if that heir failed the test or something like that, it would be very, very bad for the regime. You can only imagine what would happen to the country if you know, his enemies and within the nation itself found out that he did not have a worthy heir. That was just a um, pretty useless rant of mine. I always digress. The whole kingdom of Hell Castle owes you an enormous debt of gratitude. Thank you so much. I will talk to the Queen. For a boy with such a delicate disposition to undergo the right of pur purification was no mean feat. I knew you helped my dear little Hallie through this terrible ordeal. I'm deeply grateful to you. Jimbebo, you and your courageous companions have fulfilled every expectation I had of you, and then some. My son has finally put his lily-livered, weak-willed days behind him and is ready to stand up on his own two feet. Now, regard and reward me for your endeavors. There are a fair few royal riches we keep stored down in hallowed hallow. Really? Would I be right in thinking that you might have already pocketed a few of them? Uh, they're all pretty crappy. Yeah, I took a couple. I admire your honesty. In my wild youth, I would have done just the same. Anyway, all that cave, treasure in that cave now belongs to you. Now belongs to you. Go ahead and fill your boots. Is this all we got? Because it's... It seems like we keep getting bum treasures from uh, these monarchs. Aside from um, Somnus, who gave us a lightning staff, which is an okay thing. Uh, not all that great, though. I've got a feeling some of it will come in very handy. I speak on behalf of the whole kingdom of Hal Castle, and I thank you for your efforts. Anytime you want to come back and see us, you'll be more than welcome. We know Prince Howard will be over the moon to see you. Hang on a second, there's something that almost slipped my mind. Jim Bobo receives the magic key. Oh. Jim Bobo acquires the magic key. With that key, you'll be open, able to open doors that normally only us royal folks can open. You'll find that you can use it down in the cave to the south, as well as in other locations. If memory serves me correctly, there's a small shrine in the southwest of the castle. Well, it's not much of a shrine, more of a well, really. Anyway, I'm pretty confident you'll be able to try our new magic key if you have there. I wish you luck in your ongoing quest of self-discovery. I dearly wish I could tag along. You help my son take a huge step towards fulfilling his destiny. You'll always have my gratitude. Okay, well that was a nice surprise that we got. I guess I'll put that chain up in the bag. So we didn't get the bad gift at all this time. This is kind of reminiscent of Final Fantasy. If, uh, if anyone's ever played that, you get a key in that game later on where you can kind of backtrack and open a bunch of doors and stuff and get some really good treasures. Let's see, let's go up here. Jimbobo, I fear I led you and your trusty band of companions on quite the merry chase. Those foot loose and fancy free days are behind me forever, so be honest with me. Do you think I've got what it takes to be king? Sure. You flatter me, but you're right, of course. But needless to say, you'll always be welcome in the realm of Pink Hammer. Oh, we opened it! And look at this. Greetings and salutations, my fellow travelers. I think I found my new tagline. Um, 
Yeah, because he says greetings and salutations. I'll say fellow travelers from now on. How about that? Maybe I'll remember that. So you made use of the magic key, marvelous. I sat astride my gloopy steed and rode for many leagues to fulfill my destiny and serve the prince of Hal Castle. And what does he do? <laughs> he locks me up like a common criminal. Does anyone to treat this Mahalant Guain? <laughs> These names. But I see that you eye me with a suspicion. Please put down your weapons, I beseech you. And all I ever wanted to do was devote my insignificant supplies of valor and chivalry to the cause of good. I rode here hoping that I could fight alongside Prince Howard of Howe Castle and prove my worth. But it was not to be. Frankly, I care not a fig for the prince now. He can jolly well fend for himself. I say, you don't know anyone, happen to know anyone who's in the market for some of my brand of valor and chivalry, do you? Do I want a slime knight in my party? Hell yeah. You do? And they're right here? Yeah. I'd be deeply honored to fight alongside you. And I sense my gloopy steed feels similar to me. Destiny awaits. Onwards. And Gawain joins the party. This game. <laughs> this is such a funny enemy, like a, a little knight riding a slime. I shall await you outside the castle walls. Toodle pip. Um. And he rides off to the wagon. I have to say, this game... I only... As, I, as I'll say again, I only played Dragon Quest 1, 3, and then um, many years later I played 7. And uh, this is nothing against anyone who really liked 7. Because it's been a long time since I've played it. But I thought it was a horrendously boring game really had very little to offer, at least at the time. Maybe I'll give it another shot someday, see if maybe I'll like it. You know, I never even finished it, so I can't say too much about it. I knew they remade it recently, too. But this game blows Seven out of the water. It just blows it out of the water. I just, you know, BTFO'd Seven. That's the next game after this. It's just funny to think that. Like, Seven should be a better game. Or at least close to this game in, in terms of quality. But not at all. I mean, look at this guy. This, this is a pretty funny, original character. Like, I, you know... I mean, and they all have personality and stuff. And Seven is just bland, boring, very dull characters, and dull gameplay, bad class system. And I'm gonna stop. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop bashing Seven in case anyone really likes it. But yeah, I am. I am just uh, really happy with this game in general. So, I don't know, we're going to have to figure out what he can wear. I might do that later. I know there's a couple places that we can explore around here. Now that we have the key, we can open a few doors. Like this one. Oh, but the door is locked. Well, never mind that. I'll probably have to check the guide about that. We will check out... Um, we'll go visit All Trades Abbey first and foremost before we do anything else because Sir Gawain needs to 
get a job. He's going to really grow nicely too as a character because he's level one. So we can put all kinds of you know all kinds of different jobs and stuff for him. And he'll level up in them really quickly. I think one thing we'll do though. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to check this real quick. Just because I want to see. I want to get for um, doing. A slightly slower Yeah, huh, it almost looks like he can do it. My requirements, Master Do. Okay. Yeah, so thief and merchant and monster master. I wanna get something that's a little slower to level up. Maybe we'll make him a mage. That might be a good choice. Or you know what? We'll make him a priest first. Yeah, we'll make Gawain a priest first because that way he can learn things like all heal and buff and kabuff and all that stuff. So, we'll do that. I think that's probably the best bet. And you can see, he takes a little hit to his stats, but it doesn't matter. We don't even need to have him in the party. sure everyone is um, okay with their mastery. He's getting close to finishing his job. So is he. And here I thought we were only going to get Millie Carver, and Carver in our party. And we're turning out to get a pretty good cast of characters. And I said I'm really taken with this game. I'm glad I took, um, I think it was GGG. I'm glad I took his advice, or her advice, I actually don't know, um, and tried this game out, so, yeah, thank you again. Gawain learns poof. What does Poof do? We should check his spells. He knows heal. I don't know what Poof does, I, I forgot. And it's not easy to uh, check these. Oh well, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. And I think there's a mini metal up here. We must have already got it. Yeah, we must have grabbed it. Oh, no keys open it. Har har har. Okay, so we have Gooey set up. We're just gonna zoom. We'll visit Madame Luca. If need be, I can always consult the guide and see what we're supposed to do. I, you know, I usually try not to use guides, but since we're since we're recording this, and since we're, uh, 
Yeah, it, it would take very long to even do anything. Plus, I'm making the save available on the website, so I want to make it a good one. Welcome back, Jimbo. Your journey goes well, yes? No. Hmm, lost are you? If you only, only you knew that the magic key you carry is your ticket to clear veil. If you leave Howe Castle, look south, you'll see a small shrine to the west, yes? That shrine is the way to Clearville, and in Clearville, I'll not be spoiling a surprise. Strange experience or best left experience for yourself, yes? Let's call it a night, yes? We can speak more tomorrow. Oh, I do remember the shrine. No, we're not even going to say goodbye to her. I'm just going to be a total dick. Eat all her food. Sleep in her bed, walk right out, no goodbye. So we need, we need to go to Castle. We'll go to that shrine from, I, that, I think it was the episode where my mic did not record. <laughs> and we didn't get any voiceover. This Monticello looking thing. And it's another well. Uh-oh, a scare well appears from down the well. Oh my. Well, that is, um... That's interesting. Try sapping it. Kabuff us, Millie. Kabuff us. And we'll have him. At least we can sap him. We'll double up on him. Why not? I have to say, this game also pretty long. That's not a bad thing. But I've been playing this on... I think I started it back in July. Of course, I took a break from it and I only played it every other day. But even now that I'm um, you know, committing at least an hour or so every day, it's still got a lot to it. This is certainly a good choice good economic choice. If you want a game that has some content and is fun to play, and probably not too expensive either at this point, I would advise getting this. So this is the Dream World equivalent of your counterpart, probably better to say that, of um, the Kingdom of Hell. And we got a warrior level. We got the rank of swashbuckler. And it did nothing. Swashbuckler did nothing. Kind of sad. We're just going to run. We're not. Get poisoned in the process. Oh wow, we got blocked. That's a first. Alright, well, uh, I guess we'll have to kick serious now. Use the boom ring. And of course everything is dead by the time we actually get the chance to use it.
Wow, he can't seem to run. Maybe it has something to do with our level. I don't know. Sorry about that, I had to get a sip of coffee. I'm determined not to fall asleep while recording tonight. I actually, uh... Not last night I was so tired I actually nodded off of it. Now who leveled up? Now Gawain. Eh, well... Melly is a henchman. She learned shelf. Gawain seems to get decent level ups. I thought, isn't he like level 1? It took him a very long time to get to level 2. That's uh... Not too comforting. I'm gonna have to squelch that poison. I never got used to uh... The way they would name, the way they name uh, magic spells, unless some of them really make sense. And there's nothing wrong with it; they can name it what they like, as long, you know, as long as it uh, within reason. But others are, are a little bit um, confusing, like poof. Yeah, I used that boom <laughs> and I equipped that boomerang. It's turning out to be so useful. I have a feeling like that fire claw does set damage. Like the actual bonus damage. I could be wrong. Mr. Bat. For a random battle, this is turning out to be a little painful. That's probably a good thing, though. Because that would indicate that we're catching up the enemies of them, or they're catching up to us, it's probably. Oh. This is going to be painful stuff. Okay, well his dazzle wore off, let's go. now level 3. 6 hit points. 5 magic points. That's good. He gets... His level ups aren't too bad. He, of course he has priest affecting him. Drain magic. Ashlyn's gadabout level increases. She's now a night owl. Learns lucky, a new lucky dip antic. Ashlyn learns a new ability. Tongue lashing. Oh man. Nevin's priest level increases. He's a pontiff. He gets nothing. I think he has like another another level. Let's see. 
Nice master priest. Hold on a second. Something's wrong. I thought there was an all heal where they could spell, they could heal everyone. I'm gonna just tag this place real quick and then leave it and then we'll zoom back to all trades. This should be good. Yeah, see, it's on our list. That way we don't have to worry about walking here again. Well, I'm going to make Nevin a mage, regardless. I'm probably going to actually swap him into the party now. I don't know. Maybe I won't. He does have good magic points. I oh, have really good magic points after we make him a mage. Unfortunately, he won't have very good hit points. Oh my god. That is bleak. It's rather dire, to say the least. I don't know. If I'd want him in my party, something could one-shot him. At least um, Amos can hold his own. Welcome to Clearvale. Our slogan is, Eye the skies for the bed that flies. What? I admit it, I'm the biggest flying bed fanatic around. But I'll have to find a new obsession if I don't get to catch a glimpse of it soon. So this place looks almost like a pyramid. Is there anything hidden here? You know how they like to hide things in these games. Someday I'll have to do Breath of Fire 3 as well. There's just so many games. Goo whiz, don't slurp up on me like that. Where am I going? Waiting for the bed to fly out of that house, of course. But gooly, I can't wait. Bye, gooly. Hey, he says the same thing. Alright. Eh heh heh, that little messy is quite smitten with me. I guess I still got it. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up, heh heh. I know it's absolutely scandalous, but what can I stay? I cannot stop thinking about this older man. I suppose love really is blind, isn't it? I'm not even going to touch that one. Some things. Hark, I have journeyed many leagues to this hamlet, chasing tales of the bed that flies. Forsooth, I figure only a fairy tale village would play host to such a romantic tale. Alas, the magical mystery bed is missing in action, and this town's a bit of a bore. It is the tale of my life. Good day, come to see the flying bed, have you? No. That's just as well. It's been quite a spell since we saw that bed soar. But what a sight it was. Just a streak of bedspread and pillows. Word got out and our little town became quite the tourist destination. That bed is our bread and butter.
That house up there has been empty for ages. But there's some funny business going on by golly. I saw the flying bed launch from the second floor balcony once, I swear to God. So we're not going to go in that house because something will probably happen. What's this stuff? The boy in this grave is more than my master. He is my best friend. Mind speaking a prayer for him? Maybe it will fetch him some happiness in the afternoon. And Bebe looks at the grave in front of him. Doesn't seem to be anything of note. Strange that there would be a graveyard in the dream world. Or maybe not strange, actually, since it is the dream world. Come to think of it. Now he got rags. They just love giving us crap. Of course, you know, the devs know you're, you're probably going to search everything because, you know, what's, what are you doing on RPGs? Traveling with a partner can be rewarding a rewarding experience. You look like adventurers, I'm sure you can relate. I mean, even if you hate the guy at the start, the hardships of the robot, powerful bond, right? Oh man, I blew it again. I'm sorry, boss. Zzz. I always wondered why they have Z's. Oh, it's a dancer's costume. What a bedroom in a hotel, how scandalous. I can only imagine why it's there. Um, I don't know why they use the letter Z to indicate that someone's sleeping. No one goes Z and then they sleep. I guess maybe it's like kind of like uh, a caricature, a caricature of snoring or an onomatopoeia. That would be more accurate to say. It's probably what it is. I kind of got lost on so staying with these people for now. A flying bed? Gosh, yeah, I saw it once. The boy who was riding on it looked a little older than me. Let's see here, what sounds tasty today? My wife, Felicia, took in a boy we found wandering around out in front. From front a spell back. Seems like the poor lad got lost. Anyway, he seems unusually fond of my wife. I feel bad for the kid and all, but sometimes I feel like we're competing for her attention. Of course, this is a dream world, and he could be very well like that lady's son in the real world, I don't know. Here's a book entitled Warrior Cat Tales Part 4. Yeah, welcome to the cat's catalog of feline fabulousness. By the time I was three, I thought there was no enemy in the whole world who could ruffle my fur. And then one day I encountered another slime. Fearing nothing, I let the slime loop towards me. Next thing I knew, I was halfway down the hill covered in a layer of viscous goo. I had been well and truly slimed. I only learned after that later that... Ugh, Man, I gotta keep, I gotta slow down, I keep getting ahead of myself. I only learned later that this was a world famous heavyweight slime known as Victor. I'm still proud to come out of it with most of my nine lives intact. The end. So I guess that's the story. What a, and what a story, right? I guess there's a bank in here. He just hops out of bed. Welcome to the weapon shop, what can I do for you? Buy weapons. Dream Blade. A so poor f a soporific sword that sometimes sends up needs to sleep. Seems useful. 
There's nothing especially great here. The quartery swords? Oh, oh, that's right. I'm wearing. I was a little confused because I was wearing the, uh, the whip. We're I mean, not the whip. The uh, yeah, I can't even words today. I was wearing. <laughs> I was wearing the battle axe. Or I thought I was wearing that, and I actually have the boomerang. Dream blade. Not a bad weapon. Maybe we'll get a couple. I'm probably just going to sell some stuff off and do all this off screen. Welcome to the armor shop. Gulen could probably use some gear. There's definitely a few things that aren't bad at all. And we'll see how much we have in the bank over here. I don't think it would be a bad thing to spend a little money. Jibibu gazes in the mirror and he checks to make sure that everything is in place. Meow, meow. And we'll visit that. Rather sus oh, you know what? I'll check the back. I said I'd check it, and I'll check it. Oh, we only have 10,000 gold. That's, um, not a lot. Having money problems here. Where it appears to be locked from the other side. Hmm. Can we get onto that balcony? Is there a way? I'm gonna check the church out. Maybe there's something in there. What is all this? Ah, oh, that's a nun. I can actually. F I could probably fix that screen. You can't fix it totally, but you could fix that some of it so it doesn't get too weird. Murdor may be a thing of the past, but the monster hordes show no signs of dwindling. Perhaps some evil is still at work out there somewhere. I mean, how can I explain to this to our followers? They believe there's all is well in the world again. Then we got holy water. Look at that gas. And it's just the priest. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a night. And we'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more. Until next time, good luck and happy gaming.